guys, I'm Layla. We are talking about Warcraft Rumble today. And today's video, we're gonna be talking about this fun event in game called this Arclight Surge. Now you're gonna say at the time of this recording, we have about seven and a half hours left on this Arclight Surge. And what this does is this gets us guild points. I will have a separate video talking about guilds, you know, why you should join a guild. But basically this is going to help your guild accumulate rewards and get some goodies, right? So we are gonna see right now, there are two Arclight Surge events available. We have one here in Westfall, and then we have another one here in Duskwood. Now, what I do want to point out is, for example, this one in Duskwood, you're going to see it says Undead Horde. So each Arclight Surge basically has its own condition. It's like a fun conditional event. So you can only do these events with Undead Horde cards you know with only undead horde leaders now if for example if you don't really have many of those to make a full deck don't worry about it the game is actually going to make one for you and give you a leader so that happens to be duskwood and then westfall is going to be dragon's hordes so this is going to be a conditional as well too so let me hop on in over here. We're gonna go play this first one and you are gonna see what's fun with this Arclight Surge is you do get extra gold coins as well. Now, because this one happens to be Undead Horde, what this is going to do, this is going to give us extra guild points towards Undead Horde in general, all right? So let's hop on in with Gulia. Now, your army is replaced with troops from Undead and Horde families, just like I had said. So it really doesn't matter what, you know, what deck you take in there with you. The game Game is going to give you a playable deck to use. So tread carefully. The denizens of the Enderseer are happy to greet you. And this is going to be Gulia. So we're going to play. Now again, also what's fun with these Arclight Surges, you get bonus gold. Because initially when you go through the game and you complete different areas, you don't get gold again if you do the area again, but you do get it through an Arclight Surge. So I actually really have fun with these modes. I like the conditions. I think they're fun. It just adds something a little bit different. And it's something that you as a guild can work collectively towards to try to get some rewards as well too so as we're loading into the game Ready. all right arc light surge undead horde we know that so for those who have not played against ghoulia if you didn't know until you hit the start button you basically can kind of just do whatever you want okay so when we check ghoulia she devours defeated enemy residue to gain health so basically she's a warlock you guys basically she's a warlock right so with that let's play so it looks like again we're going to have a deck that we have not played before and as you end up playing the game a bit more you'll get used to what some of these cards are what some of these heroes are all right so we're gonna work towards try to grab this i am gonna do we're gonna do some chain lightning here I like chain lightning there we go we're gonna send a kobold down to try to grab this gold over here nice all right so we're gonna grab we're gonna grab this stone All right, so it looks like we have Thanos is going to be our leader here. Gotta hold off on that spell. All right, let's bring, we're gonna bring a raider down below. Now we can actually start putting some troops here, but what's gonna end up happening is, for example, he's most likely going to die. All right, let's put down another dude. This meat wagon's fun. Anybody that's used to meat wagons? And look at, uh, we got this little like stitches kind of dude here. We're actually doing a good job. Look at the warrior. She's doing great. Now this bat is trouble because he's really difficult to stop and he can really just wreck your uh, your base. All right, so we're gonna do more meat wagons because meat wagons have range. So they should be able to, yeah, there we go. We're gonna put a lot of damage. So we're gonna be able to beat Gulia right here. Perfect, awesome. So this happens to be the first one that we're in. And this is another one that I really like. I really like this Molten Giant. I find that he happens to be such a good tank. So I'm really happy that we ended up getting some experience for him. So you, doing these Arclight Surge events, you do get some experience for some of your random cards. And then you also do get the bonus gold. And then like I said, it is something that also helps out your guild. So as we're loading in, there we go. I'm going to claim the reward. Perfect. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna switch on into the guild and I'm gonna show you what I mean, like where you're gonna see these points accumulating. 
So the guild you are gonna click down here. All right, so here we are. As you're gonna see at the time of this recording, this is beta PVP season number three. So what we just did is this gave us some points for the Horde family tomes and also for the undead. So for me, I tend to use the Alliance group, right? And that's why like I have the most points in Alliance. And overall, it looks like as a guild so far, we have the most points in Alliance. But hey guys, you know, thanks for watching about the Arclight Surge. If you've been playing this, you know, what do you, what do you think about this so far? Drive me some comments down below and I will see you in the next video.